Greetings from Seoul, Korea. I have tastes with me as our toast. This is the GSL, and we are finally here at an epic moment in esports history. Slayer's Boxer against OGS Nada. Yeah. Yeah. It's Boxer versus Nada. It's going to be crazy. It's, uh, I mean, just the match itself is all the hype the match really needs, but let's hype it a little bit let's anyways. Let's do that a little bit more, please. These are two bonjois. That means that they were both, at one point, the greatest StarCraft player in the entire world, unbeatable by anyone. That's what that means. They were both that. They were the first two, the first two Terrans. They both have won unbelievable amounts of, of matches of titles. If you actually look at the accomplishment list, these it's two, crazy. there's like five people in esports that just have like three pages of it saying first, 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 and these are two of them. Yeah, okay? that's true. And uh, I mean, I can go on, Tasis. How much should I, how, how I don't much know. should I, mean, I say? It depends they, on whenever the great commentators so want to wrap it up. Yeah. I mean, we could talk all day about these guys. They've won so many star leagues. They're the most loved pro gamers. And it looks like we're going to take a look at them. I believe we're going to go to Slayer's there Boxer is. first. There he is. Now, this guy, um, eSports wouldn't be eSports without this guy. He's the most influential professional gamer of all time. Yes. Um, he was kind of the one that figured out the game. He played it uh, StarCraft as if he was a Harlem Globetrotter, uh, just completely running circles around his opponent. Uh, one of the originals, they call him the Emperor. He is Slayer's Boxer. Yep. Hasn't lost the game yet in the GSL. Taking right. out Loner, the best Chinese player last round. Uh, a pure beast, a monster. He's played a lot of TVT so far. Happiness and Loner, both Terrans, both good ones. So we know already his Terran versus Terran is something sick. No yeah. kidding. Yeah. In uh, in StarCraft 1, a little fun fact, Terran versus Terran was his second best matchup. Yep. It's true. He's a... Uh, Really a nice guy, quite a celebrity down here in Korea. And um, I am really looking forward to seeing if he could take out his opponent, who is, of course, going to be OGS Nada, which we'll, we'll get a shot at momentarily. Legend of legend. That is a really good way to put it. It's true. Like, amongst the, there's legends. There's a lot of them, but these two are the king legends of all. Yes. Now, here's OGS Nada. This guy has quite a record of being... The most stable pro gamer of all time. Yeah. He's always been in top 30, with I think the exception of one period where he lulled out. But honestly, he's, he's just such a, a force to be reckoned with. Not a, a very well-rounded player, always adapting to the metagame as it shifts. Yeah, and the thing is, this guy, he has like 400 APM when he wants it. Perfect mechanics, perfect micro when he wants it. Yeah. His decision-making is second to none in the entire world at anything ever. Yeah. Um, I cannot say enough about him. Go watch the Leenock match. You watch uh, Nada get angry and take off his jacket and actually show you how to play Terran Berserk. You think that uh, Fake Boxer has a good Terran Berserk? You think that uh, I'm MVP has good Terran Berserk? Watch Nada play. This guy will take four bases and then kill you. Yeah, He's he is absolutely a StarCraft 1 player playing StarCraft 2. Like it's StarCraft 1, it's a beautiful thing to see. I was blown away by his TBT. The way he controlled the game on Metalopolis was really impressive. And a little fun fact about Nada, Terran vs. Terran was tied for being Nada's best matchup along with Terran vs. Protoss and Terran vs. Erg in StarCraft 1. Very stable. No real weakness when it comes to somebody like Nada. Kind of Nada. the opposite of Slayer's Boxer, who's yeah. a little bit more polarized. His strategy is micro, is impeccable. His macro is economic. Yeah. Uh, control a little bit weaker. So it's going to be cool to see these two guys battle. They know their strengths. Well, Boxer and Nada both know Boxer's strengths and weaknesses. Yeah. Um, and, of course... Nada has no weaknesses. Yeah, Nada really doesn't even have very many weaknesses. Let's take a look at the map lineup now. We got, for our first map, Metalopolis. For our map number two, the second map, Zelnaga Caverns. The third map, Shakuras Plateau. The fourth map, Delta Quadrant. And finally, the fifth map, if we get that far, Lost Temple. All right, well, you notice that the map Luna from StarCraft 1 isn't here. That means all these maps are good for Nada, <laughs> as Luna was created by Masterminds to try to make Nada lose a game. Little StarCraft legend That's for That's true. You. They had yeah. to break Nada. That's right. <laughs> That's <laughs> why the only tournaments. losing replays of Nada you'll ever find are on Luna. Anyways, uh, that I remember aside, actually interviewing Nada a long time ago and asking him if he thought that map was in balance, and he goes, no, no, it's perfectly fine. <laughs> and yeah, I was like, what? Well, <laughs> 
that is the way a lot of Korean pros do act. Uh, Nada wins like 90% on every map anyway, so everything's balanced for him, man. You put that guy on a Warcraft 3 map and he'd somehow win it with like 40 hit point Marines. So many fans here. A lot of signs being made. Show their support. For their favorite player. And I have to say, I think Nada might be a slight favorite here. I, I agree. Uh, Just slightly. They're both huge 40, legends 50. and... 40, 60, excuse me. 40, 50. I'm 40, 50 like 10% of uh, <laughs> tasteless winning. 10% undecided. Yeah. Uh, no, I think um, I think Nada does have a slight well, advantage. Well, Nada here. is a more solid player. Uh, yeah. Boxer is a more flair-based player. You know, he does yeah. extravagant stuff. His style is uh, less solid. So Nada is just like this guy that is going to be so hard to kill. Boxer has to come up with something super special to take him out. So, yeah. But Boxer's done it before. You can never, ever, ever, ever count him out. He was, people called him as being done in pro game, washed up, gone like four times. And every time he's like, no. And then he goes and he like top fours in an OSL or something. Yeah. Like, that's just the way Boxer rolls, you know? He's a beast. He's a beast. And, um, of course, these guys are also both very close friends. They know each other really well. They're backstage joking around and stuff. So uh, no animosity between these two, but a lot of money and notoriety is on the line. So yeah. one of these nerds is going to have to die before this best of five is done. That's right. Who will win? Who will win? I don't know. I don't know. Leave questions on the GOMTV.net forums, though. And whoever wins, I'm going to interview them. We will ask them some questions. And if I use yours, I'll shout out your name. But it is time, Tasis. Let's get ready. Slayers Boxer versus Nada. Esports history is about to be made. It has begun in the red. They call him the Emperor. One of the most, if not the most influential esports player of all time. New one. Slayers Boxer. Almost didn't get that out. In the blue, well, hold that thought. Here's a shot. Whoa, see, now I'm raising my hands doing that. In the blue, we have easily the most stable pro gamer of all time, a legend. So people many people here today. Guys. Oh, yeah. Man, everyone here loves these guys, including me and Tesla. So. We do. We have man crushes on these guys. Absolutely. Good nice picture. artwork, yeah. Yeah. Now, we do have cross spots here. They're very far apart. So they should be able to both get an expansion up pretty easily. Containing the other guy, not as easy to do. But you never know with players like this. Yep. Um, I love these spots because it's going to force a very interesting game. It's going to, it could definitely go macro because it's so far away. But Boxer, he might have something pretty crazy planned. I have a feeling we're going to see Boxer take an expansion, though, and do something wild off of two base. Not on the other hand, I think he'll be uh, taking his third base as that happens. <laughs> yeah. That's that's my prediction. <laughs> now, in my opinion, if Boxer is closer to Nada, Boxer has a slight advantage because his micro is so good. Mm. His rushes are so good. If he's farther away, I think it's going to be uh, in Nada's favor, and that's what we have in this case, a map where Nada is quite far away from his opponent. That's Nada right. can't really be touched or uh, caught up in some kind of crazy rush stuff. Now, Nada already looking like he's going to expand. He's only got one barracks, no gas. That's obviously an expansion build. Uh, just going to make a few Marines and go right into a macro mode. Probably be Bionic base, just Marines and Marauders, get Stim, get Concussive Shells. And that's going to get his macro a huge jump start on Slayer's Boxer. So if Boxer was planning for an early attack, it's cross map positions. It's not going to be something he wants to do. And I think he's going to have to just suck it up and expand once he scouts what Nada's doing. Now, he hasn't scouted him just yet. Something strange is going on here because he scouted the other locations. Mm. I wonder if he's going to. He did a strange maneuver banking up north. That he doesn't is... see anything there. So, is he going to hide a structure? I don't think so. Just scouting over there in a weird very scout pe pattern. Very peculiar, peculiar scouting pa pattern. A uh, factory going up. Nada probably going to go ahead and make uh, gas pretty quickly here. Is making that second barracks. Factory second game barracks here. over here. Yep, sorry. Now, uh -oh. he does not actually have vision. 
of this expansion yet. He has yeah. no idea that's actually there. Zero idea. But at the same time, look at that. He has his second gas. So we're definitely going to see Starport added on. Unless he's actually going to go Siege Tanks to Siege Mode. But I, I de yeah, there it is. Uh, most likely going to see a Banshee Rush. Because he's not getting any add-ons right now. Banshees are wildly popular in Terran versus Terran. Ah, but we may in fact see Viking Tank as well. It's oh. very hard to tell uh, from these add-ons because you can just switch everything around if he likes. A lot of barracks down here. This is quite good if you do an early expansion build. Oh yeah, definitely. Get a ton of Marines and Marauders. Now he's going to try to slip by. Is he going to see the expansion? I believe he is. Uh -oh. No! Now, just to confirm no that idea. does not know that this expo is here. Yeah, this is actually great by Nada. He is denied so much information. And yeah, it looks like it will, in fact, be Banshee. Will he get Cloak? The problem is there's two orbital commands, so you're going to be plenty of scans for Nada. Now what you can do with Banshee is you can fly around, shoot the SCVs, and then when you get scanned, you run for it. Yeah. That means they don't get to use a mule. You do that two or three times, and you can catch up quite easily. Notice he is getting Cloak. Right here. Yep. And Boxer going to expand behind the Banshee, it looks like. All right, excellent. Notice that command center going up in the mini-map. And uh, just a ton of units for Nada. Now, Boxer's going to have to do severe damage with these Banshees, really keep... Uh, keep Nada in his base because Nada has so many units right now he can literally just attack move and it's going to be so hard for Box to stop with so few units now the Banshee is coming across it's time for him to find out exactly what's going on, he's going to see so many barracks I think he's going to know instantly, be like oh no and there are the Marines nice kiting a little bit of a missed kite there, but Boxer. Oh my. Only one kill so far. Yeah, he did I mean, pull all the Marines around. No, he did not, actually. Not always has more Marines oh, than he's going to have. And gonna lose it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. And Nada kills that first Banshee. That was a crucial, critical Banshee. And there is another one coming across, but losing that first one doing almost no damage. Nada has to feel like a king right now, which of course he is because he's Nada. But uh, seriously, he's he's so far ahead. Here's where he's going to have to force a scan and try to escape. Or you can even force a stim. Probably not the best place to put an engineering bay, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> because of that reason. Now, he only has 22 energy. That's not a lot of energy. You lose those en energy points in a little bit under a second to reach an energy point. And he scans, escapes. But more Marines. He should be out of sight. And he does use a second one. Oh! And again, no damage except, except for making him use a scan. Go yeah. Maybe an SCV and a Marine or something. Now look at the uh, difference in supply. Yeah. It's 50 to 64. Yeah, and that's actually bigger than what it sounds like. If you look at that army, oh my god, that's a huge well, army. Well, this is actually just mid-game. Yeah. This is the center of mid-game right now. Absolutely. They um, both get their expansions up. And if Slayer's Boxer doesn't have, like, three bunkers, I think he may just die to this. Note how heavy the Marine count is in here. If he does have Siege Mode up. Uh, right now, Boxer not even getting Siege Mode. Yeah, I think it, he could just get run over. He is making a bunker, but it's far too little, far too late. Scan. And Nada going to roll him over. Here we go. There Stim. he goes. Stimming in. Boxer realizes he's in trouble. The SCVs come out. But will it be enough? These Marines have a sick DPS. There go the Marauders, killing the Siege Tank. And down goes Boxer's economy. Out come more SCVs. He may end up killing this army, but at what cost? His control is really good here, both of them. But he's losing too many SCVs. These SCVs and mules aren't mining too, by the way. That's right. Now we have to take a look at the unit counts. It is 31 SCVs for Nada, 22 for Boxer. Wow. Oh, I hear a Banshee, though. That is... He did that during that because he's Boxer and he can multitask like a crazy man. He can multitask suddenly, better than I can as an observer, apparently. He actually <laughs> killed so many SCVs with it that we didn't notice because he was attacking while Nato was micring this battle. But we do know, however, that... It's so yes, close to SCV even now. now yeah. Boxer, how do you do it? It's actually... I, we're observing with two computers and we don't even catch it. Nada doesn't catch it either, or he would have cleaned it up much faster. Uh, that is Boxer for you. That is how he does things. 
Okay, you have a lot more units. That's fine. I have one that I can sneak in there. And uh, Boxer suddenly, you know, he has a lot more tech than Nada. The supplies still in Nada's favor, but SCV-wise, Boxer doing completely fine. Note these tanks are in siege mode now. That's going to shred up the Marines. Yeah, Nada's not going to be able to do anything with that. You know, this is tempo-based play that Nada's showing us. He's going to have to tech up now. He's going to have to expand, too. Yeah, he's, he's lost all his tempo here, basically. He does have control of these Alnaga Watchtowers. And Nada, he is going two factory siege tanks at this point, as well as adding on that starport. So definitely realizes what's going on, knows that he has to switch up his units, can't sit forever on Marine Marauder. Now, we, we got to point out that he does have map control here. Uh, Nada does. Even shooting down that Marine. And he does have combat shields. <laughs> Which is how he wins that battle. Yeah. Won't win this one, however. No, probably not. Oh. But this one. But here comes the Nada Marine. Tit for tat, Tasteless. Tit for tat. Continue to maintain map dominance. And Boxer Marines all over the place. Boxer Marines get an idea of what's going on. I like how he's transitioning into mass amount of tanks. Yeah, it's it's a great transition, and it's going to be pretty scary, actually. In fact, I think he's going to go Vikings as well. Could be Medivac, though. He's moving out now. Oh, that is a lot of siege tanks. Oh, nada. This is how quick these players actually are. It's, it's quite scary. I have to show you guys the APM of nada right now. This is StarCraft 2 APM, so it's actually 40% higher than that, if you understand what APM is for other games. APM is, of course, actions per minute. Yeah. So, so they're I, literally playing that fast. His actual APM right now is over 400. And now, this is going to be an awkward situation, because I don't yeah. believe they're both, both the where. Well, now they are. At least one is that he's about to be attacked. He's like, wait a minute, i got to go back. Yeah, Nada actually way out of position. Boxer, though, uh, it looks like Nada will get back in time. If he had cut right towards the factories, he may have been able to siege up in a great spot, but going to go around and get a high ground position instead. Dude, I love this game. I cannot believe how evenly matched these two players are so far. Boxer should have a slight advantage being on the high ground here. Sieging up first, though, is Nada. Nice shot. And Boxer actually picking up those units that would have been hit in a drop ship. Uh, medevac, excuse me. And uh, moving it back now. Here we go. He's using the medevac as a spotter. Very nice. Boxer should have been using his as a spotter as well. Losing some siege tanks here. He's out in no man's land with these units. Really aren't doing anything aside from denying a third base to Nada. But he More is reinforcing units are on the with way. a ton of units. And he's going to try to break him right now. He saw he was on siege. He's going to gain some ground over here. He might have to siege up these tanks down here. Oh my, this is a scary force of Nada. Boxer is sieging up. He has a ton of units of his own. But look at this. The siege tanks of Boxer just pummeling the Marines. Oh, there you go, not a siege shanks. Now, something really interesting. Let's take a look at this unit count real quick. We have 36 SCVs for Boxer, 55 for Nada. Nada clearly preparing to take a third base right now by over Most likely those up here. SCVs. Yeah. Taking this base on this map, the gold base is quite difficult in Terran versus Terran because you can position siege tanks in the opposing corner and hit the oh, yeah. uh, SCVs that are mining minerals. So we it's tend to see that location neglected on this matchup. It is so wide open up there. Um, but I really expect not to start a command center any second now. Yeah, in fact, he already has. Up here. Yeah, there it is. It's, in fact, it's almost done. Not a, like he always knows what to do. And, and actually, the Slayer's Boxer's um, command center are also almost done. All right, now uh, Boxer's sieging up in position here. Uh-oh, he can't hit the location where the tanks are over here. Oh, look at this. He's going to siege up into the main base of Boxer. And Boxer is going to be in a lot of trouble, but Siege is a tank behind there. He's going to have to move these buildings on the edge, though. Oh, look at that. A Siege tank going down. Boxer coming in with some Siege tanks in his dropship. Oh, and Nada takes out that Siege tank. Beautiful move. Sieging on the high ground as well. And just an action from all sides here. Amazing play by Slayer's Boxer, dropping his Marines, dropping his Marauders on top of those Nada Siege tanks. Minimalizing the damage that could have been just so deadly. These guys are both in range of each other. Nobody scanned yet. And Boxer's the first to scan. Takes that tank out. 
this course, is just these structures wild. have been taken out. Meanwhile, another attack down here, southbound. At the same time, uh, Slayer's Box are going to counterattack towards the north. No, actually reversing that. Uh, remaining passive, not aggressively taking the gold base. Yeah, taking As we that said, that's kind of rare. Yeah, you know, he's got this tempo advantage right now. He's doing a lot of attacking. Going up to Boxer's National, but at the same time, Boxer going to go over. Maybe hit his gold base, and it looks like Nod is going to have to cancel that pretty quickly. But here we go. Boxer, nothing at home right now. And Nada looks like he's going to pull ahead a little bit. But Boxer, he has plans of his own. Oh, oh look at him. Great right attack. Kills nice. the Sea Chank. The SMB's trying to get up, but no, he's got great positioning. Boxer has one force left. He has to do something with it because not his attack on Boxer's main is not something he can stop. And that something is this. He's going to siege up and try to hit the structures over here, the barracks. Oh, no. Do we not have a medevac dropship over there for Boxer? Nobody scans. He has vision now. Still, it looks like he just cannot come back from here. Not as in his main base, killing his stuff. And Boxer trying to move around with those siege tanks, has to find some sort of new position. And he's going to attack into the front of Nada right now, taking out a few siege tanks, but taking a lot of damage in the meantime. It looks like he may get a very nice position, but still, he's not in Nada's base. He's not stopping all his production facilities. Over time, Nada can whittle down, especially with these medevac dropships. Absolutely. A ton of tanks with drop, or, um, yeah, medevac dropships to take out uh, or drop on top of the siege tanks. That's going to be huge. Note the production facilities of um, Slayer's Box have been shut down. But Slayer's Box is better doing um, a lot with a little, much better than Nada in that case. Yes. And we'll have to see how do a whole lot with a Plan whole little. Planetary Fortress here, but these Marines are in range of the SCVs over here. That's going to shut down mining over there. The main essentially mined out. That's right. It's getting quite close here. The only thing that's really on Nada's side here, he has his production facilities. He's floating some command centers to other locations that Boxer can't really attack right now. And he's got medevac dropships. That is the most important part. He can drop on siege tanks. It's going to be really hard for Nada to actually spot and do anything. Looks like he may ferry all these units over to this location, reclaim a main. He yeah. may even end up lifting the barracks as well. Right now, not Nada, I mean, they're, they're both just showing their talents. Fox are doing so much with so little. Nada, one macroing like crazy. One Banshee on the way. Oh, my. I think he's going to try to do some surprising stuff with the Banshee. Remember, the Terran may be pressured into, um, actually, if this gets killed, he's not going to have any uh, scans, really, with the exception of this. And with no Orbital and no Raven, one cloak Banshee can actually do so much damage. Yeah, two can do even more. Marines walking away. Command center gone. He needs to save this. He needs to save this. And he is. If he doesn't repair it. this. Yes, he is now repairing yep. this. Um, just a sounding play by both players, really showing off their skill sets. And it looks like all the production facilities for everyone is going to be gone. And you know, I really look like Nato's going to win. The supplies were even more different than this. Right now, they're 35 against 109 in Nato's favor. But the Banshee could turn the tide. One Banshee could change everything here. If he could take out these SCBs, this location is right now controlled um, by Boxer, Slayer's Boxer. He's going to move out. You know, the thing does he is, have any scans he left? Does. He He's three. saving his scans. Nada is preparing for every eventuality that could possibly occur. And here one goes after Boxer's siege tanks. But Boxer has his own Banshee as well. And we got to see if this... Banshee can get any kills right now. It looks like it's going to be in favor for Nada. Going after this mule. He's going to die anyways. Those mules have short lives anyways. Yeah. You know, Box right now, he's at 13 supply. Really is, is not looking good for him. Nada sells a lot of minerals, so he can even make turrets at this point. And N Nada's looking. got this now. This yep. is over. And as Box loses, we're going to see a GG. GG. Wow. That game was, Damn. that was worthy of Boxer versus Nada. That's what you get when you get players of this caliber duking it out I so have, evenly matched. I have goosebumps all over my body faces. I'm not afraid to admit it. I am a nerd and I love Nada That was Boxer. so cool, man. That was awesome. Both of them just taking each other out. Um, Nada just doing a little bit of a better job. Made the right decision to get into the main. You know, 
I just love that we're seeing their styles from StarCraft 1 come right through. Yeah. Nada fast expands, gets a ridiculous amount of units, does this amazing attack that you're like, okay, he's dead. And yeah. then you go over and notice at the same time Nada does that there is a Banshee killing all his SCVs. So yeah. suddenly it's a game, and Boxer, despite having like a third the supply at the end, still made a game out of it. Oh, my God. It was God. so unbelievable. What a treat it is to cast these games. I don't even want to really talk about the game. I want to start the next one. I know. I just want to start. I'm, I'm having like, so much okay, fun casting this right now. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Just type it on my keyboard. Wow. Damn. That was so impressive. Um, you know, one thing about Metalopolis is you can get in situations in Terran versus Terran where you are actually attacking each other at the same time, and then you're both isolated from... <laughs> Defending your base, you got to make yeah. do with whatever you can, and whatever you, you have there. You can't really turn around. It's yeah. There's a lot of zoning going on in Terran versus Terran because once he sieges up, you can't attack into that. Yeah. So that will play a lot of roles, major the, roles in here. The countdown has started. Let's get ready. 